Big Clash is keeping inside the UK. SMB and Sovereign Roadshow. The Battlefield. Big Dance are keeping by UK here. And nobody's talking about it. Let's get to this one. What's good, everybody? Sure, Shuri Selector Hype TV sound system. You know what to do, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You know how I do my thing, which is very few and very far apart. Apologies for not giving you regular content, but my life is different. My life's crazy. So when something comes up, I have to jump up on it and definitely back it and support it when it comes to sound system culture. If not now, go on. I'm an entrepreneur. I'll find something else to do. Come money off your make. But big and serious, this is going to be a big, massive showdown. SMB meets Sovereign Roadshow, the battlefield. Now, this event is going to be taking place on Friday, the 15th of September, 2023. And it might just be one of the final clashes to take place for this year. All taking place down there at the VIP lounge and bar, right there in london city now let's not get it twisted london has not been supplying big sound clashes for a while they've been doing many many other things big shout out reaching out to all the london crew but for a while now we haven't seen many sound clashes take place inside london but then again can we say we've seen many sound clashes take place around the uk but yeah london is definitely representing on the night and it's going to be an exciting one it's going to be very exciting Two sound systems inside the building. SMB bringing their sound. Sovereign Roadshow bringing their sound. Yo, this one ain't normal, you know. Trust me. Mad thing. So, you know, it's Selector Hype. You know how my things stay already, you know. For, I've been doing this for nine, nearly 12 years now. And you know what? When it comes to kind of judging a clash or reviewing a clash or bigging up a clash or endorsing a clash, I'm always sitting on the fence trying to be politically correct or whatever the word is but you know what we're done with that now you know we're just gonna go straight for it who not like it not like it who like it like it but you see right now in this sound system era that we're in right now yo we ain't got time for cry babies if you hear a man say something about you and you not like it then guess what you just not like it if a man say yo like how go on, you know you just say all right then respect but there's no time for cry babies anymore big man ting big woman ting Let's get into the rounds. First round, 20 minutes, no talking. Fingers pan lip and them ting there. Now I've had a few people that I've been speaking to and they were like, oh, 20 minutes, no talking. Boy, me not in a them ting there, you know. That no make sense and blah, blah, and rare, rare. You know, you kind of people them. You're the kind of people them that microwave curry patties. Ain't nobody want to hear what you got to say, man. 20 minutes, first round, no talking. Love it. <laughs> let's have some of that and the reason why i say this because there is a lot of excitement when it comes to a sound clash i've been there done it don't even ask me no questions or or ask me what do i know what do i not not know you know how my thing is it's very important that in these times now we kind of switch it up a little bit so when they say 20 minutes no talking let me tell you something it's a great look and i'm going to tell you why we're living in a time where music seems to become so fickle dash with this dash with that dash with that we barely listen to a song for five seconds ten seconds especially in a sound clash just fling, fling where fling where fling where and you always have the mc behind it making the noise and hyping up the songs there man it's just like a, a continuous vibe but with no mc it's down to the selector it's down to the selector's choice of how he's going to play 20 minutes and when you have no mc and you're not playing the right songs 20 minutes can feel like 20 years not only for you as a selector playing but for the patrons in the crowd just standing there thinking this is long get it right and it's going to be an absolute movie straight vibes you're going to be able to feel off the crowd your energy as a selector doing your own thing without your right hand man gearing you up to kind of or, or, almost hiding certain times where you may be off key with your mixing or or you, you play the wrong song at the wrong time that's my door knocking so one second so as i was saying 20 minutes no talking for me personally it's a good look now we're talking about the two sounds and two big sounds and smb sovereign roll show if it was down to me now or my opinion should i say 
if I wanted to listen to one of those sounds play for 20 minutes without no MC, I'd rather hear Sovereign. Now, the reason why I'm saying Sovereign, and it's just my own opinion, is just that if it's going to be that early in the dance where sound systems are going to be playing their own songs without no MC, I'd just rather hear what Sovereign have more than what SMB have. There's no big long explanation of, of this, that and the other. It's just how I see it. I'd rather hear Sovereign over SMB 20 minutes with no talking. So I'd give that round there to Sovereign. Second round, anything goes. Now, I'm, I'm just literally trying to come here and give you my opinion on how I think the dance may go. I may be right, I may be wrong. It doesn't even matter. It's just my opinion, just sitting there in front of the camera, doing my thing. 20 minutes, each sound, everything goes. Now, remember, they just played 20 minutes, no talking, which I think overall Sovereign will handle a little bit better than SMB. But then when it comes to now, you have to pick up the mic. I think SMB would be more excited and quick to pick up that mic and go full steam running. Full steam ahead, it's, they're going for it. Especially when I think if Sovereign do a very good round with no talking, man's going to have to play catch up, which means he has to pick up that mic and say something that makes sense and try and cancel out the previous round. So I would give it to SMB. And I think maybe the Sovereign will do such a good round in the early first round with no MC that they haven't prepared themselves to play catch up and be ready to pick up the mic and go for 400. I think like, that, like they'll do such a good round with no MC that they're still going to kind of like be on a cruise mode where SMB will be just like, you know what I mean? It's that time now. Microphone and 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 and, and really go for it. So the anything goes round after the note talking, I would give it to SMB. Now we move on to the third round. Third round is the 45 round. Strictly 45s. Now I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to like you I'm, I'm trying to make out like I, I know how the clash is gonna go, but clashes never go how you expect it to go. But like I says, I'm not gonna sit on the fence and say, oh I mean I know, I mean I know, I mean I know. I'm just trying to play out as as I could kind of see it. So those two sounds there, I would 45 round. Who would I expect to play better? I would go for sovereign. Now the reason why I'm gonna say sovereign is just because I think. Playing 45s in a clash, it, it, it's it's not as easy as what people think because you've got to pick, there's, there's a million and one 45s out there. Your dub plates is your dub plates. You've got your box and that's all you've got to play out of. You can't go and, oh, pick something, you know what I mean? You, you, it's not like you have every 45 on dub. But when you've got all the 45s in the world and you can be able to play and pick and choose and read a crowd and that I think, and I'm going off like, making how the clash is going is if SMB do what they do and then the next round's a 45 round I think Sovereign can come in there with some 45s and really catch a vibe which might catch SMB off guard so yeah 45 round 20 minutes let's give that to Sovereign we go into the fourth round now fourth round is 15 minutes let me just double check let me just double check yeah, we cut a five minutes off the 2020 thing. So the fourth round is 15 minutes, anything, anything. And I think this is where, after all of what's took place already, it starts to get heated. It's going to get really heated. When you're in a clash and you drop from 20 minute round to a 15 minute round, let me tell you something. That is a lot of time. If you watch Formula One or any of, yeah, if you watch Formula One, the difference between a man coming first and second is milliseconds. And it's like that in a sound clash. To win a round and you drop five minutes from your allocated 20 minute round, that five minutes now is shortened and you've got to come correct. And I think this is the time where both sounds will be absolutely on fire, raring to go. The vibes is in the place and it's going to be head to head. Who is going to take it there? That's where I'm going to be a little bit sitting on the fence. Like I said, I wasn't going to do. It could go anyway. That is now the point of the dance where 
it should get really sticky on one of them sounds there. The fifth and final round is dub for dub, best of 11. So each sound will be playing 11 songs and then they decide the winner. Again, depending on how the previous round went, and if I just looked at it as one for one, Sovereign and SMB, who could win the one for one? It's going to be so exciting that I can't really say because Sovereign from 1983, I think when it, they reached to a certain point in a dance, they got them songs there to drop the one for one. But then SMB, and the one thing about SMB, I'm, I'm, I'm still baffled why people keep talking about SMB like they're two years deep. Yo, these men have been playing sound from a long time. So don't get it twisted like they don't know one for one songs or how to play one for one. They're man, they're being there, done it. So there's a lot of people that who still have SMB like a new sound. You know, SMB, the Maguan, you know, Scrap I Doom thing since him left Tobbies. That's Tobbies a long time ago, Bridget. And he's got the experience and he's got the knowledge and he's buying the songs. Them. So when it comes to the one for one between the two of them, again, it's going to be a serious battle. We're going to hear certain songs play. And I think, I don't want to sit on the fence, man. Hype, don't sit on the fence. Because of times and how things are right now, I think SMB might take the one for one. What I also like is after after the after the one for one, I think on the flyer it says victory lap. So whoever wins, I think they get to play out the dance. I think that I think that's what's 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 happening. So again, it really is gonna be one of the best clashes that you're gonna see inside the UK. SMB Sovereign Roadshow. It's gonna be one of them ones where like like I said, I'm trying my best not to sit on the fence anymore, you know trying to give it to you as it is it's going to be absolutely amazing both sound systems i have so much respect for but at the end of the day man it is what it is i can't be just be like saying oh i hope the best man win and all these things it's like yo you gotta go in there play your songs do your best you win some you lose some but what is going to be a winning factor is us the patrons us the people them we the sound clash fans them who are going to go out there and support the sound system that they want to win on no bias thing and just enjoy a fantastic night it's going to be taking place like i says down there at the vip lounge bar and club all the information is going to be popping up on your screen etc etc friday the 15th of september it's going to be a showdown two sound systems up inside the building now i've heard smb sound play and they play very well to be honest I don't think after all my years of playing sound and being in this thing, I don't think I've heard Sovereign Roll Show play. That's weird. Um, considering how many times they play out and considering how many times I've been in the business and how many times I've traveled up and down the place, I don't think I've actually heard their sound play. And to go up against a sound like SMB, who if I had to go on sound quality, I couldn't, I couldn't say SMB when I haven't even heard sovereign so i can't say anything on that i think there's going to be a lot more people them who are watching this right now and say you know what i've heard both sound systems so you can decide on that night but again anything is anything you know the size of the place the amount of boxes you bring where you position your speaker box them how you operate your sound all those things come into factor it doesn't matter if you've got 25 bucks and he's got 11 bucks and he's got four amps and he's got 10 amps is how you play your sound on the night so on 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 a wrap up on that one is just basically you've got to be up inside the building get the right position where you can hear the sound for yourself and then that is one for you guys to judge shout out reach out to the host of mother night alan brando from war report also k special they will be hosting the event and making sure everything is definitely intact everything is in order everything is, is is on point so people make sure you go there with your best interest at heart is making sure that the best sound wins on the night gotta say big shout out reach out to the clash lord pick up yourself each and every time much respect going out to you gotta say one other thing as well you know just while i'm here there's a little bit of the flyer which you're gonna see love the flyer i love the whole simplicity but sometimes 
Simple and effective is the best way. The minute this one popped up, I was like, whoa. Like it's plain and simple. The rounds that are there, everything is just there on point. So this is the reason, one of the reasons why I'm doing this one because I seen the flyer and I said, whoa, this one's a serious one, you know. And when you check the levels, this one is a serious one. SMB Sovereign Roadshow. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Friday, the 15th of September. The doors open at 9 p.m. The clash starts at 12 a.m. That doesn't mean say your gym screech in a place at 10 to 12. Go and pay your money. It's 20 pound a ticket. You pay more on the door. Make the most of the money you're spending on your tickets. If you're gonna buy your ticket, roll in there from early, hold a look or two drinks, and you know, get catch a whole vibe. Go in there 10 to 12 and just after class start or you miss around and all them things there nah man we want you up inside the place nice and early get your position hold a spot mix and mingle network especially if you're some of the sour man them you need to start networking you know holler at a certain man and say yo yeah exchange numbers etc etc and make it a fantastic night i think this is going to be one of the best sound clashes then that we're going to see this year there's been a few that um i've, I've done very very well you know, honourable shout out to Ecstasy Family and the World Power Family. But I think this one, because it's September, we're wrapping up the year. It hasn't been the most fulfilling year for UK sound clash culture, but it's still alive and it's still here. And we have to do everything to support it as much as we possibly can. So it is a wrap. Um, who do I want to be the overall victorious winner out of it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't technically know. I just literally gave you a big run up and gave you the rundowns of that. Calculate it. Calculate who I said we're going to win the rounds or whatever. And then that is the person who I think is going to win. But overall, like I said, the best winners are we, the patrons, the Clash fans, them, the people them who love this industry, the people them who are going to come out there and support. Please go out there and support. And I guarantee you, Sunday, the sixth, no, Saturday. The 16th of September, when we wake up and we hear the news, one of those sounds are going to be absolutely victorious. And I hope they keep the momentum alive. I hope it's not just one clash where it's just going to be a one-off. Clashes like these, they need a part two, a part three, you know, and keep that rivalry going. I am Selector Hype, TV Sound System. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Shout out reaching out to everybody who's been supporting the thing. Like I said, my thing is few and far apart. But when I want to just jump in front of the camera and say a thing, I'll say a thing. And like I says, when I start doing these films again and start coming back and reviewing, no crybaby thing. It is what it is. Somebody's got to win, someone's got to lose. But like I says, and I'm going to keep saying, we all win as long as we're keeping this culture alive. Like, comment, share and subscribe. I'm out. One. Peace.